Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and we are in video two of our Ultimate Space Mesh setup. This is the foundation video. We are going to get our Ubuntu operating system set up. We are going to get Portainer set up, and we are going to get uh, Docker set up before Portainer. So first thing we're going to want to do, because this is a fresh installation, I am going to update everything. And this is going to take a second to run through all the updates. And while I'm doing that, let's jump to the Substack article here. Let me see which one I need. Here we go. All right. So just to give you a brief overview again, we're going to, and all the, this whole video, the same commands, the same steps are on Substack. So I'll have a link in the description. But what you're going to want to do is follow along with this guide so you have all the commands. We're going to be setting up Ubuntu server, which is really easy. We just really have two commands that we're going to do here. We're going to install Docker. Then we're going to install Portainer and get that set up. Then we're going to do Prometheus. And we're going to set up our first stack here. And seems like a lot but it's actually really really easy and we'll go through it step by step so let's jump back we just finished doing our updates and now we are going to set the time zone so for me I am in Arizona so let me bring up and in the article there's a link actually to the different time zones so you can uh, modify this to whatever time zone that you're in. It's always good to just have the time zone set correctly. If you're using Ubuntu desktop, you probably already set the time zone during installation, so that might not be needed. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is install Docker. And in the article, I give you all the instructions that you need, but it's basically just the same instructions that you'll find on the official documentation. So I'm just going to run through those commands now. It's mainly just copy and pasting these things. And then finally, we will install all the packages. And this will get Docker installed on our Ubuntu server operating system. All right. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is just make sure Docker is working as it should be. And we can do this with a uh, a Docker image called Hello World. We're just going to run that. It'll say that it can't find the package because we haven't actually, um, or the image because we haven't actually downloaded it yet. So it's going to pull that image in. And then we're going to see this Hello from Docker. If you see Hello from Docker, that means you did it correctly. So Docker is set up at this point. Now we're going to do Portainer. Again, uh, this is really just copy and pasted from the official documentation. But the first thing we're going to want to do is create a volume in Docker for Portana data. Data. Uh, oh, we missed one step on the last one. Um, huh, looks like I don't have it in the substack, so I'm going to update that. But what we're going to want to do is set the current user as part of the Docker group. And this is going to allow us to run Docker commands without sudo. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm just going to exit out, and then go back in. And I should be able to now run that command that I ran earlier. Perfect, without sudo. It's kind of a, a choice. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can just put sudo in front of all of your commands, but I prefer to have it done this way. All right, so now that we have the volume, let's go ahead and run the actual portainer docker image. 
So we've installed Docker and now Portainer is a Docker like management software where we can actually manage our Docker images from a browser instead of doing these long command lines. So it's fine if you enjoy using the command line entirely. You will have to look up you know, all the commands that we're going to be running, but I find this to be much easier for Docker. Even though I usually prefer the command line with Docker, it's kind of nice to visually see what's going on. So we're going to just enter that there and it's going to pull in all of the different images and dependencies. And what we're basically doing is setting up this Docker image. We're going to be assigning two ports to it, forwarding some ports. It's going to be called Portainer. It's always going to run on a restart. We specify a volume here, um, two volumes. One it looks like it's going to be sort of a bind mount. And then another one is the Portainer data volume that we set up. We're going to uh, mount that uh, at this directory location in our container. So Portainer is installed. And if this was my main host, like let's say I'm using uh, desktop, uh, Ubuntu desktop, you could actually just go open up your browser and go to the Portainer website using localhost, but this is a separate computer. So what I need to do is uh, actually get my IP address. So you can run this command here and I can see that my IP address is this. So I'm just going to copy that and then we're going to jump to the browser. And what we're going to do is, I think it has to be HTTPS. We're going to paste in that. And then you're going to want to do 9443. And you can see you're going to get this you know, security risk that you're on your home network. So it's not you know, a huge risk. I'm just going to go to advance, accept the risk, and continue. And that's going to bring up Portainer. Um, and you're going to need to create a password. So let's go ahead and um, create a password. We'll just use this randomly generated one. And we will create the user. And I'm not going to add this. You can add this to your, uh, like if you have a password manager. I'm not going to. I have a separate uh, portainer instance that's different than this, so I don't want it to get confused. And at this point, you're going to be given these two options. You can just click Add Environments, or um, here we go, just click Home, and you already have like an environment that should be set up. So you can just find your local environment here. And if you go to Containers, you'll see you have Portainer that already running. And then that hello world that we ran earlier to make sure that Portainer was working. So you can actually delete that by checking the box and just clicking remove. We don't need that anymore. You're always going to leave Portainer here, of course, because that is uh, what's making this whole website run. Okay, so going back to the instructions here, we've created our username for Portainer. And now what we want to do is install Prometheus. So we'll get, we'll do, be doing a lot of stuff in Portainer, but for now we're going to jump back to our terminal so that we can install Prometheus. So the first thing we want to do is we need to create a file called Prometheus.yml.yaml. So we're going to make the directory for that file, and then we're going to use nano to open that uh, create a file called prometheus.yml. And then you're going to want to paste this, uh, what's in the article, in. And what we're doing is setting a global variable for scrape interval is 15 seconds. So all of our uh, jobs are going to use that global setting of 15 seconds. And then we're going to set up our first job, and that's Prometheus, which is literally what we're setting up now. We're going to set up future ones for all of our nodes and other things, but we'll be adding to this file throughout this tutorial. And the only uh, thing we're really going to specify here is an IP address. This is, we're going to create an, our own network on Docker called SpaceNet. Uh, that's just the name I came up with because Space Mesh, SpaceNet. And we're going to give it an IP range that's uh, 172.18. 
0 dot whatever we want. Uh, so for Prometheus, I, I'm going to set a static IP address. And this isn't what we're doing here. We haven't actually set up the network or the static IP address for this uh, Prometheus, which Prometheus will be a container that we install on Docker. Uh, it's going to make more sense in a moment. You'll see us create the uh, stack and Docker config or Docker compose file for Prometheus. But for now, we're, we're pre-specifying the IP address. We haven't actually done anything or assigned it yet. Uh, and that's going to be port 9090. And, and I'll show you, you know, where we specify all this in a second. So control X, Y, enter to save that. And then now we're going to go back into Portainer. Let me just bring it up here. Okay, and we're going to create a stack. So you have containers and you have stacks. And stacks are just, it's a Docker Compose file, basically. And Docker Compose is, is basically like a bunch of, it's a YAML file where we specify all of our containers. And we can run them all with one single command. So we're going to click Add Stack. And I just like to call this, uh, you know, my computer that I'm on is Zulu for the host name. Zulu stack. And then just like you should, I'm just going to jump into the Substack article and I'm going to go down and I'm going to copy everything that's in here. And then I'm going to paste it in here. So what we have going on here is just we're specifying the version is right now it's three and we're setting up services and each of these services is going to be a container and we're going to set up the Prometheus container. It's going to be using the latest image for Prometheus. We're going to actually name this container Prometheus because when we look at our containers here, they'll be, uh, it'll give it a random name if you don't actually name it something. So we're going to name it Prometheus. And then we're going to run this, uh, this config here at the Etsy Prometheus Prometheus.yml location. So when this Docker image runs, it's going to execute that option with it. And we're going to set the user as root. And we're going to have two volumes. And these are both, um, one's going to be a volume, one's going to be a Docker volume, one's going to be a bind mount. So we just created that YAML file at Etsy Prometheus, Prometheus YAML. And we're going to bind mount that to Etsy Prometheus, Prometheus YAML in our Docker container, which basically means the Docker is going to have access to our root file system at this point and we're going to set it RO which is read only because that docker um, container shouldn't modify that YAML file it's just reading it and then we have our Prometheus data which down here we're going to specify as a volume and that's basically going to create a um, folder a persistent folder inside our docker container that's uh, specific to this image and we're going to mount that at slash Prometheus and then we're going to set ports 9090 so if you look back here, uh, if we check out this, we see we're specifying port 9090 for our IP address. And then if we come back in here, we can see we're giving it an IP address that we specified. So this is where we're actually assigning a static IP address for this container. And we're going to be doing it on SpaceNet, and we, and we do it under the networks. And then... Well, where does the SpaceNet come from? Well, we specify it in our Docker Compose down here. We're going to call it SpaceNet. This is just something that I came up with. You could put um, anything you want here for the name. Driver, we're going to use a bridge type network. There are a lot of different network types. There might be some better ones that you want to choose for this, but for my use case, we're using a bridge. We're just going to use the default driver. We're setting up that IP range for our subnet and then the default gateway. So we can see, again, you know, we're assigning a static IP address. And in here, we're, we're just letting uh, Prometheus know what static IP address we assigned it. So let's get out of that. Let's go back to Chrome. And from here, we can just click Deploy the Stack. And you see it's going to take a moment because just like when we deployed uh, Portainer in the command line, it had to pull in all of the images. Uh, so we've done that now. We have Zulu stack set up, and if we go to containers, we see now we have Prometheus running. So we're good for Prometheus. And we can see it's running at this port here on 9090. And we should be able to um, 
just take this URL and do 9090. And now we're into Prometheus, because Prometheus also has a web front end. And if we go to status, service discovery, we can see we have Prometheus uh, right now set up as a, or not service, uh, targets. We can see we have Prometheus running. So we're good to go. There's no metrics we can see just yet. We're going to set those up in a future article. Uh, but let's just make sure we did everything according to the article, uh, deploy the stack. We went and saw our targets, and we do see Prometheus. There's some extra ones in the image here, but uh, for now, you should only see Prometheus. So that's it. Uh, we've now set up basically our foundation. We have everything that we need to start getting metrics, and we're going to install some more containers. We're going to install a service. We're going to update our stack. We're going to update our Prometheus YAML file. Uh, and we're going to be building towards finally getting our nodes up and running. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.